It would be the longest trip by astronauts in space ever, and it would be filled with unprecedented challenges. We're talking about the ambitious new goal to get humans to Mars. President Trump laid it out in his inaugural address, but is it even possible before he leaves office? In tonight's Prime Focus, our Gio Benitez looks at the promise and the perils of the dream to plant the American flag on the red planet. All engine run. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I am determined that the American space program will put its full intellectual power and technological prowess behind the search for further evidence of life on Mars. We will then be ready to take the next steps of space exploration, human missions to Mars, and to worlds beyond. By the mid-2030s, I believe we can send humans to orbit Mars and return them safely to Earth. It's been a lofty goal presidents have had their sights on for generations. We will pursue our manifest destiny into the stars, launching American astronauts to plant the stars and stripes on the planet Mars. Now a new ambitious push for humans to set foot on Mars. Can NASA pull it off? I think NASA's track record of making the seemingly impossible happen is proof. I look at the plans for going to Mars and I think, oh my gosh, that seems impossible. But we've done the impossible before, so I think we can do it again. And with SpaceX's Elon Musk having the president's ear, the impossible may finally be within reach. Can you imagine how awesome it will be to have American astronauts plant the flag on another planet for the first time? NASA confirming, for now at least, layoffs are not on the horizon. And it will take a Herculean effort to make a mission to Mars a reality. To get humans to Mars, a dream that's been out there for 50, 60 or more years. And that next window is just a year and a half away. Even with the most powerful rockets we have, there is a window of 20 days every 26 months. And that's it. Literally be there or forget about it. Dr. Scott Hubbard is someone who knows what it takes to get to the Red Planet. He used to run NASA's Mars program. I invented something called Program Systems Engineering, which is the idea of how do you couple missions so each builds on the other. Now NASA is trying to build from the Artemis mission to the moon to humans setting foot on Mars. It will be an incredibly challenging mission filled with problems never encountered before and a crew of astronauts daring enough to make the journey. Astronauts are here to explore and astronauts you know, go to space because they believe that humans should be uh, a multi-planet species. Do any of you want to go to Mars? If we had all those answers today, I would absolutely go to Mars. Ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. Astronaut Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore thought they were signing up for an eight-day trip to the ISS. Nine months later, they're still there. We came up here fully trained, so not returning on our spacecraft, we transitioned into being a crew member on the international crew members on the International Space Station. And this experience may one day be useful to those Mars explorers. Being up here, it's not about a singular mission. It's not about a singular trip to Mars. We're part of a long legacy of exploration, of human exploration of space, and we're doing our little part to try to advance that. We've got this timetable of going to Mars, and it appears to be moving up. What, what, what is some of the research on the space station right now that could help with that? We've done several experiments where we're growing things. How do we sustain ourselves? We can't pack all the resources we need on a trip to Mars and sustain a long mission. So we're gonna have to figure out how to grow the food that we're gonna need. But there are so many problems that need to be solved. Do I think we could do it? Yes, we could do it. Um, there would be a lot of extra risk that we haven't had a time to reduce yet. 
doctor Rihanna Bakari is thinking about how to get humans to Mars. So right now, all of our healthcare delivery to astronauts really focuses on direct communication with Earth. And that communication delay is going to be quite large. If you have to wait for 40 minutes to figure out if you need XYZ drug and something really critical is happening, that's going to be a problem. To put it mildly, the journey would be unprecedented. We're talking about a journey that could take months just to get there. Uh, you're absolutely right. Things are likely to break on a trip to and from Mars. So you cannot take every single spare part with you. You're going to have to have some way of additive manufacturing, 3D printing. In addition to transportation, you need a habitat. We have not yet built a place for astronauts to live for the six or seven months it would take to get there and have a really reliable life support. And to get to the land, you have to do what is the hardest entry, descent, and landing in the solar system. Mars has a very thin atmosphere and it makes it the worst. So you've got to use all the tricks in the book to get safely to the surface. And getting there is only half the battle. A round trip mission would take at least three years and astronauts would be exposed to all sorts of conditions that could lead to health problems. You'd have to accept that increased potential risk of cancer. The bone and muscle risk, there's not really a current solution right now. The mental health risk, the potential for an emergency. Will NASA solve all of these problems in just 18 months? I seriously doubt that you can get humans to Mars and be ready when the window opens in a year and a half. Not all opportunities are equal. And if you were to look out to 2033, you see an opportunity that comes only once every 15 years. Ambition is the lifeblood of a great nation. And right now, our nation is more ambitious than any other. Ambition is what it will take to get to Mars. And those astronauts on the ISS have a little advice for whoever might make the trip. Nothing goes as planned, and be ready for that. <laughs> a little challenge, a little adversity brings out the best in us, honestly. It'll make you think outside the box, make you find solutions, and make you find out a little bit more about yourself. From Apollo to Artemis to the Red Planet, Americans once again reaching for the stars and trying to redefine what's possible. Americans are explorers, builders, innovators, entrepreneurs, and pioneers. If we work together, there is nothing we cannot do and no dream we cannot achieve. Our thanks to Geo.